and the distance between point A and B as marked on the circle below. So this is a circle. The center is marked O. So O is a center and A and B are two points on the circle. You want to find the distance between A and B. PQR is a horizontal line. AP, OQ and BR are vertical lines. AP is 9. The distance from A to P is 9. The distance from O to Q or the radius is 5 and BR is 8. So we want to use this information to find the distance between A to B. So this is what the question is. You want to find that and say let us name that as X. Okay, now using that information, what can we do? Okay, we know that the radius is phi. So if OQ is a radius, OA is also a radius. OB is also a radius. So, and we know OQ is phi. Let me change color. So let OQ, OQ is given to be phi. That is a radius. So OA is also phi and OB is also phi. Okay, now what can we do? Now, AP is given to be 9. Okay, now I'm going to uh, use, I'm going to join a line segment, a perpendicular line segment to Q and a perpendicular to BR. Say, this is PQR. Say, let me say this is S and say this is T. Okay, so if OQ is if OQ is phi, SP is also phi, okay? And if SP is phi and AP is 9, AS would be 4, okay? In the same way, BR is 8 and TR, if OQ is phi, TR would also be phi. So, and this is 8, so this has to be 3. Okay, so this is a right angle triangle. This is also a right angle triangle. So you got this is this is a right angle triangle where the hypotenuse is phi. So let me write the hypotenuse phi here so that you can see. And this is also the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. So this is also phi. So this is a triangle of phi four. So you know that three, four, phi are the triads of a right angle triangle. So if this is if this is 5, this is 4, this has to be 3. Because uh, 3, 4, 5 are triads. What do I mean? So 3 squared plus 4 squared is 5 squared. Why? Because 9 plus 16 is 25. So 3, 4, 5 is a well-known triad of a right angle triangle. So the same logic, if this is 5, this is 4. So if this is 5, this is 3. This has to be 4. Okay. Now using that, we want to find this angle. Say, let me name this as a theta angle. Okay, so can we find this angle? So let me change color. Say, I'll call this say, alpha and say this is beta. So can I say alpha plus theta plus beta or beta is 180 degree. So can we find alpha, okay? So can we say sine alpha is opposite over hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5, which is 8 over 10, which is 0 0.8. So alpha is sine inverse of 0 0.8, okay? Uh, okay, so, so let us leave that as a result 1. Uh, sine beta, sine beta is how much? Sine beta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is 3 over 5, which is 6 over 10, which is 0 0.6. This implies beta is sine inverse of, sorry, this is 0 0.6. Sine inverse of 0 0.6. Okay, you can also say arc inverse, uh, arc sine, not arc inverse, arc sine. So can we say 
we say that alpha plus theta plus beta is 180. Oh, so I can I write now the same as theta plus alpha plus beta is 180 degree. So I can say theta, theta plus alpha is sine inverse of negative, sine inverse of 0 0.8 plus beta is sine inverse of 0 0.6 is equal to 180 so if you make theta the subject theta is 180 minus sine inverse of 0 0.8 mi minus sine inverse of 0 0.6 so let me use a calculator this is my calculator i have already worked that out but then also i'll show you now first is you have to have your setting your degrees in your angle in degrees and then I'll go like this Oops. so I know this is 180 minus shift sine of 0 0.8 minus shift sine of 0 0.6 which gives me 90 degrees so theta is 90 degree that's a very neat again that becomes a right angle triangle so your theta is 90 so now we can use Pythagoras theorem because AOB is also a right angle triangle so we can say triangle AOB is a right triangle is a right angled triangle okay which implies x squared is phi squared plus phi squared which is 25 plus 25 which is 50 so x which is nothing but a b is square root of 50 which is i'll leave this in uh, so this is uh, square root of 25 times square root of 2 so a b is 5 root is the answer.